in mna transactions call and put option arrangements plays a very critical role for buyers it allows them to actually not buy the entire 100% stake from the sellers upfront and defer the 100% acquisition uh, for a future deal especially if there are valuation concerns or synergy concerns the buyer can acquire 70% let's say stake upfront from the sellers and remaining 30% 3 5 years down the line subject to the revenue conditions being met in contrast the seller can actually exercise the put option and require the buyer to buy out the stake uh, the 30% residual stake in the future there are other situations where a call and put options can come into play for instance in a shareholders agreement if there is a deadlock uh, to resolve that call and put options can be used equally if there are any material breaches then the event of default construct can actually legislate for uh, you know the call and put options there are also situations uh, like if a ipo is not completed within the stipulated time then the seller you know can look to uh, get a structured exit through a put option uh, now all of this is you know conceptually great but what is critical especially when a non resident is involved is that at what price the call and put options can be exercised and that is where the indian exchange control regulations assumes a lot of significance basically it does not allow a non resident to get assured returns and any exit by the non resident uh, has to be done at a fair market value the pricing norms are basically when a non resident is buying shares from a indian party it has to pay bare minimum the fair market value of the shares at that point of time and when the non resident is actually selling its shares to a resident it cannot get more than the fair market value so it's very important that the fair market value is kept in mind while structuring call and put options and one of the key aspects is that you must in the agreement set out how the valuation will be carried out who will be the valuer the methodology etc so that you know the any ambiguity is minimized to the extent possible mm. uh, so in conclusion uh, it's very important to keep in mind that call and put options helps both buyer and seller from seller standpoint it gives them a structured exit a good valuations also in the future and as far as buyer is concerned it can actually structure its acquisition in a staggered manner once it is comfortable with the valuations and also uh, when it sees that the synergies are right <music>